skin so at the moment my skin is absolutely terrible i definitely need to do a fast or some sort of cleanse because i feel like my whole body is is terrible at the moment not just my face hello and welcome to my channel if you haven't already please subscribe like and comment and find us on instagram at nadinad i have got some questions on the screen so, question one how are you coping during lockdown so during lockdown we have been absolutely fine we have been able to spend time with each other and bond and connect and what's been quite interesting is that i've really got to know my children's personalities individually yeah we've got had time to see what he what they like we've enjoyed movies it's been so good and sending them back to school yes i will be sending my kids back to school one of them start next week and the other starts the following week and i think that we have a new normal that we need to get used to so whether they start now or in september there's going to be a significant change of the way the nursery is run so what we have been doing is been taking turns with the kids so we can both have a chance to have a moment for ourselves, which is really needed for both both parents who has influenced you the most i'm generally influenced by people who have a lot of knowledge so people who people who i can see that are trying to learn more or have learned a lot and are doing well in their crafts or in their profession in their industry in their direction that they're going in life i love having conversations with people about things that i know nothing about what continents have you traveled to so europe obviously because that's where we live we live in europe africa i've been to africa a few times i've been around europe loads of times i've been around africa a few times i've been to north america a few times which is more jamaica but it, it comes under the north american continent so asia i'm gonna say asia but really we've been to turkey and when i look when i look at turkey's continent it is borderline between europe and asia so I really would like to go to the Maldives and then I could be like, I have been to Asia. But for now, I'm gonna leave Asia out and say, I haven't been to Asia. I've been to Turkey, which is a borderline Asia. So we've got Europe, Africa, North America. One day, hopefully I'll be able to travel to Australia, which will be beautiful or South America. Out of the seven continents, I have been to four stroke three. Cats or dogs? So in secondary school, we had a friend, her cat had kittens and she gave us one. We had a cat, it was called Trixie. And yeah, she lived in our home with me and my two brothers and my mum. And we loved Trixie. She went through a lot, bless her, bless Trixie. So I really loved cats and I was fine with cats for years and years and years. And now I'm allergic to cats. I get very sneezy, very, very sneezy. My eyes go red, so cats, definitely no we would like to get a dog in this house i would like a dog and possibly a girl dog because there's too much testosterone in this house but zishan and isaac would like a chameleon what has been your biggest challenge as a mother my biggest challenge with becoming a mother is cleaning i would say the cleaning goes up more than double i mean there's two kids i would say f four times as much cleaning as you would do not being a mother so what i've found works really well is trying to tidy up after them constantly throughout the day i know that that sounds awful like it sounds like hey great thing to spend my time my day doing but the more you do it the more you get used to it and the more happy you feel when you walk into a room and it's clean every time so i would say the cleaning and if i was to get another chance to say something else i would say toilet training with boys toilet training with boys mate where is your dream holiday destination i don't know if i have a dream holiday destination but i definitely would like to experience more of the world as a whole um i would love for my next holiday to be somewhere very roots you know 
in Jamaica we are we have a Rastafari religion where we follow Haile Selassie and he is from Ethiopia so maybe Ethiopia you know somewhere really really nice that will be spiritual and bring great experiences that's what I live for if you could have a superpower what would it be so I thought about this one and I thought invincibility I would like to be able to switch on and switch off my invincibility wherever possible so first of all I'd like to see to be with my kids when they're in different situations and circumstances to see how they react and you know kids act different around other people than they do in front of their parents um, I would like to be able to clean the house I would be invincible cleaning without anybody asking me for a snack and um, I guess anytime I would like to chill out and watch Netflix and chill I would be able to do that and say Bloop, invincible mode <laughs> yeah I guess anything that gives me a bit of peace and quiet what is the first thing you're going to do after lockdown the first thing I'm going to do after lockdown what is the first thing you're going to do after lockdown I've gone completely silent on this one so I don't know I don't have a special thing the first thing I'm going to do after lockdown is try to continue a nice slow steady pace of life without trying to bombard myself with so many different aspects sometimes you just need to keep it slow and easy what made you start a youtube channel i started a youtube channel because i like to share experiences i am a person who likes to watch experiences as well so sometimes i sit and watch something and i'm like i think that i could bring something similar to the table at the moment i am a stay at home mum but i hope to actually go back out to the working environment because i enjoy it i actually enjoy working i started my youtube channel to add to the avenues of revenue that i hope to achieve in my longer term goal what is your favorite brand of makeup okay <laughs> this isn't the best video for a makeup branded thing because i didn't apply it very well i literally just put it on quickly so we can take some pictures for my birthday thank you wow thank you thank you um so i am going to try a few different makeup brands i haven't had the chance just yet the foundation that i use i do use when i have foundation on is it's from the body shop and my palettes and shadows are from different places from super drug i'm using drugstore at the moment but i do i would like to try some other ones what is one thing that you would change about yourself okay this is a good question because everybody needs to sometimes sit down and take a look at what they could be doing differently in order to be the best person you can be so the thing i would change about myself is sometimes how i come across during face-to-face -face interaction sometimes i can be so socially awkward uncomfortable i, I am literally a homebody I'm an introvert, so I like to stay home. I like to do things from home. When I am out, I am I enjoy going out, but I'm very selective of when I go out and when I'm gonna be in a social mood because most of the time I would prefer to be at home with my feet up watching a movie or even if I am running after the kids, just so I can sit at home with my wig off. Is it bad to be enjoying your home so much? I enjoy being home who is your celebrity crush these questions are so funny and because i've only just opened reopened them i didn't think it through and write down what what i'm gonna say i'm just thinking it now so who is my celebrity crush i don't know why the first thing that came to my head was peter andre but obviously maybe oh, 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 oh mysterious girl i want to get close to you See, that shows you when's the last time I thought of something like a celebrity crush. You know, back in the day, when we were younger, uh, in school days, is when we used to talk about celebrity crushes. I don't know this one. Who is my celebrity crush? I think I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> 
what's your skincare routine so at the moment my skin is absolutely terrible i definitely need to do a fast or some sort of cleanse because i feel like my whole body is is terrible at the moment not just my face so my skincare routine soap and water i'm trying to develop one as i go along but really i haven't been fussed about an actual routine ever so i don't have a skincare routine what is the first thing you're going to do once quarantine is done we've done we said that one already i think i'd like to do more stuff with the kids more outdoor stuff we're quite lucky that it's summer or summer is approaching so we can do outdoor stuff what made you start youtube a few years ago some people don't know this but i actually spent a thousand pounds on a panasonic camera with a tri with a six foot tripod i remember it was really tall and i started recording i just started recording it became something that we used to see a lot so i started recording um and you will find some of those if you keep clicking through here you'll find some of the videos that i done back in the day um and then i completely stopped i think i always wanted to continue but i got married you know i met my partner i got married we had kids and it just didn't even surface as something that i remember that i was even doing and plus my camera went missing um and you know then that was it to be honest if i didn't have the camera there there was nothing more i could do one of the main reasons i started youtube is to share travel and tourism experiences so is it hard to balance personal life and kids yes simply there are a lot of things that will be sacrificed in your personal life in order for you to give your best to your kid. The main thing I realise is that your kids are only young for a certain time and then they grow out of even wanting to be near you. So whilst they are interested in being next to you, giving you kisses and cuddles, praise them, praise them, praise them, even for things that you might not see as praiseable because I think it's important that your child grows up knowing that your their mum or dad was supportive. Is somebody I turn to when things are difficult. My personal life, I would say, has definitely taken a back seat. But also, I wouldn't say back seat, I would say it's shifted because I've been able to sign up for a lot of things that are child friendly. Once you know where to look for things that you can do as a woman with kids, then you'll be fine the more you keep trying to live the life that you lived before the more difficult it is on you and the balance okay so those are all the questions that are on my sheet and I thank you so much for asking those questions and bring more questions more 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 now this video wasn't very organized and i didn't plan it out and you know have it sectioned of what i'm gonna say but i'm still happy with the video I would be happy to do another video on questions from my subscribers and my followers just put the questions down below and leave me a comment leave me a like subscribe that really helps with the algorithm it's very important otherwise my videos won't get watched and i hope you and your family are staying safe during this time thank you so much for watching bye